What are you doing though? Like, what are we doing? Building a car. No, what are you working on getting out? The seat. What are you doing though? Like, what are we doing? Helping building a car. No, what are you working on getting out? The seat. Okay. So what are you doing when you're helping with getting the seat out? I'm holding on to the screwdriver while Uncle Jackson needs screwdriver. You got a screwdriver on there? Yeah. So it's a screwdriver or is it a wrench? Wrench. Okay. Nice. Is this fun? Yes. Is this what you want to do? Well, when mom comes home, those are probably going to be garage clothes now, so she's probably going to murder me. Okay? So you have to ask mom for a set of garage clothes if this is what you want to do. Okay? And when you come out here, you got to have your hair up. Hair always has to stay up in a ponytail. Okay? All right, love you. of all the wiring out the inside, get the engine bay gutted, cut these quarters off, <coughs> get everything out of this damn trunk, get that trunk pan off, it's gonna be busy, get that window out, get everything cleaned up, got it ready for the blasters, once it's blasted, epoxy primer, and start welding. Get this thing wrapped up and then hopefully by next summer I can try to roll it for some paint and then it can come back in here and sit and I can get the rest of the parts together to get it built. And I think I'm going to redo that whole fucking engine. Ah, it's about to be a fun time. I'm excited. Working on getting the car. Got the glass out. Got to clean up this. Finish up cleaning up on the firewall. Finish up the back, get everything all gutted out. And then I'm gonna start cutting her apart. The metal sitting down on the floor. Excited. So it started raining out today, so instead of trying to make some progress on my daughter's car, I decided it was time to come into the garage, start working towards this one. Got that quarter cut out roughly. Just hacked it off there. The bones internally, pretty solid. Get it to the blaster, get it cleaned up, see what I'm working with. The wheel housings don't look horrible, but thank God I bought trunk extensions because this thing just fell right off. It was pumped full of Bondo and filled up uh, to that line right there, filled with dirt. It's, it's kind of disgusting. And then pumped full of seam sealer, so. Got a feeling I'm gonna have a few spare parts, so if anyone's looking for any duster parts, hit me up. I got some AMD metal sitting here that I might not end up using, because uh, some of mine's solid, but I bought the new stuff just to figure. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Just look at it. <laughs> just look at it. Yeah, well. All right, so it's been like about a week since I've posted anything. But I've made a little bit of progress, just nothing worthy of uh, making videos on. It's pretty much just cleaning up all the body panels on my duster. But I do got the game plan. Um, I'm hoping to get the other quarter cut off tonight. Once I get the quarter cut off, get the trunk pan, get the extensions off, get everything off the back, pick up some red spray paint, start marking the areas I don't need blasted and then uh, roll it over for blasting by the end of September. Have it all blasted so that way starting in October, I can start dropping the new AMD metal in, 
ordering up whatever else I need. And I'm looking like, I'm hoping by the time me and the wife have our 10 year anniversary, the car's almost done. I'm hoping within a year I got the body done. Is it possible? So here we are. This inner fender is just sitting in here. Take it out if I wanted to. Still got to cut out this side. Before I cut that one completely out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up the firewall, do some other stuff to that side, try to straighten it out a little bit. Get this one off. I'm not too worried about doing this before or after blasting. I got to uh, clean up this upper cowl. I don't know if I want to repair it. Been looking at AMD. They got one in stock. I'm debating whether I just buy it. I have a majority of all the pieces already needed to be able to go ahead and take it out, swap it out. And I got this piece right here and everything. This is all filled with lead. So that's just a bunch of lead right there. Got to get all that out, get it cleaned up. Probably going to go ahead and order that. These doors are going to wind up on this duster. I'm going to end up probably getting new doors. Might get fiberglass pressure wash the shit out of this car today if you look right here the floors are pretty rotten not, not horrible but there's a lot of rot in this floor this side's just filled with a bunch of body filler over there big dent in my firewall looks like i couldn't get the starter in here so instead of buying a different starter just beat the shit out of the firewall because that works went ahead and ordered uh, a couple more pieces of metal today Got this all cleaned up. This right here, I gotta, it's already starting to flash rust from spraying it. I'll get all that cleaned up tomorrow. Ordered a new one of these. This one's just rotted all the way through. Don't think I'm gonna be able to save it. I was trying, but I think it's just easier with how pitted and how destroyed it is to get a new one. And then up here, I ordered uh, a new door jam. Reason behind it is it's just pretty shot. I could I could patch it, but you know this one's good enough quality to go in there because that one needs one as well. So I'll put a new one in this car, transfer the piece that I need that's rotted on that car over. So this is all welded in on my daughter's car. Just gonna cut that piece out, weld it in over there, and get it all lined up. And then I just gotta patch up this. Some patchwork I have done lately. I got it done today. Just had a hole cut in it, fuel lines running through, went ahead and cut this little panel out, put a nice little lip in here so that way it sits flush, just got to knock it back to straight, finish cleaning up the welds, and uh, tighten all that up. Got a little bit of corrosion.